be a crap business. So our task within Biocoms was the um, evaluation of the newly developed biocontrol products in terms of uh, the regulatory requirements and the risk assessment. And um, so microorganisms uh, need to be registered uh, according to the same or more or less the same rules as chemical plant protection products. They have different data requirements, but the same regulatory procedures apply. So there are some um, particular data requirements which concern mainly the biology and ecology of the microorganisms. Overall, the process is quite time consuming and cost intensive, and that's why it needs to be considered very early in the development of a new product. So we started in the first year um, with a collection of the data from the project partners, and we also looked into literature for um, publications on the same species. And based on this, uh, we prepared a first uh, regulatory strategy and uh, made proposals for um, generation of additional data that could be developed uh, in biocoms, mainly on, on biological properties and uh, growth temperatures, for example. Um, for the powder milieu product, which started at a, at a very early phase, we um, gave recommendations um, which species should be further developed uh, in, the, in the project. And uh, we did this uh, following a literature search and then uh, we were excluding all the species that are known as human pathogens or um, plant pathogens or animal pathogens or that might have any negative effect um, in the, on the environment. So for the um, powder milieu project, uh, strains were selected based on molecular data and our literature information recommendations. Um, other data were generated um, in the other uh, project parts. And we were including all these data during the project and were updating uh, our regulatory strategies. Uh, what's, so the next step now will be to generate um, data according to, to formal studies which are required for the regulatory process, for example, for, for vertebrate toxicology, which was not done within the Biochemist project. So if this goes smoothly, the first uh, dossiers could be submitted by mid of next year. And then the evaluation time, which involves the first the active substance um, approval and then the product registration, takes about four to five years um, in, in practice. And that would mean that the first products could be on the market in spring 2023. So the advantage of Biocams for the development of these products was that, um, first of all, the close collaboration between the producers and the research institutes allowed to generate these data, which are important for a regulatory point of view. And um, the consideration of these data requirements um, very early in the process, or um, especially for the selection of uh, the right species of the right biocontrol agents, allowed to save a lot of time uh, that would then be spent uh, during the regulatory process, and thus will hopefully lead to an earlier entry to the market.